Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Shaima and on my channel I teach German language and I also talk about topics related to Germany. If you have been to my channel before, I thank you so much for stopping by once again and hope the video will be useful for you in one or another way. Um, we all know about the current war situation going on in Ukraine right now and that is also one of the reasons why I have not been able to upload a new video since weeks. I'm extremely sorry for that, but believe me, it has been so crazy busy here that I really could not manage to give time to YouTube to upload a new video or even answer some of you guys back. I have got so many questions on my last three or four videos where I have talked about German immigration law and many of you have asked me questions and I just couldn't manage to get time so that I can reply to you back. But I have thought to reply each and every one of you this weekend. So if I still miss any one of you, please tag me once again so that I know I still need to answer you. And um, yes, um, well, that being said, I have thought to start a series where I will talk about Ukraine refugees in particular. So today's video, as well as in my coming videos, I will talk about this particular topic and uh, in details if you are interested to know more about it please do not forget to subscribe to my channel so that you do not miss any information i think we should all unite together at this time and help those who need us the most in this difficult time um yes and german government together with other eu countries have come up with a law specifically for ukraine refugees which is called eu massenzustoßrichtlinie it is a law where all the european countries have been asked to help people out from ukraine to provide them all necessary facilities and it has been said that people who are coming from ukraine should be given legal stay in Germany, we already have the paragraph 24 in immigration law where it says that legal stay should be given to the people who are in any kind of difficult situation. May it be a war or any other difficult situation, that person should be given the legal stay, uh, should be issued visa based on humanitarian basis. So all Ukrainians who are coming here with or without their families are being issued visa under this certain, this uh, particular paragraph 24. Um, now we have three kinds of uh, people coming from Ukraine. We have three categories. We have on the first, we have the Ukraine. The first category I'm going to talk to you about is the Ukraine nationals and their family members and someone who has a unlimited visa of ukraine so these people will not have any trouble receiving visa in germany as soon as they arrive in germany they will be getting a legal stay so they can directly go to ausländer um, and tell them that they are from ukraine and they are then given a fixionsbescheinigung fixionsbescheinigung is nothing different than a normal visa it is a legal document and it is used till you receive the normal visa card it is being said that these group of people should also get at least one year of legal stay where they should be allowed to work here in germany and the children should also be allowed to go to a normal school and if uh, somebody does not have any work over here he or she should also have the possibility to get social money and similarly, people who do not have any accommodation, um, who have just come from Ukraine or they do not have any place where, where to live, they can apply for asylum and get a place in the accommodations uh, for people who have applied asylum in Germany. However, that does not mean that these people from Ukraine also have to go through the whole process of asylum seeking. It is just for them to have a accommodation in Germany. The second group of people are the people who are from uh, EU country. They are not from Germany. They are not from Ukraine, but another country which is uh, also in EU. 
even they are allowed to come to Germany and they will also be issued a visa without any trouble. So anybody who has been living in Ukraine, um, let's suppose it was, um, yes, another EU country, they will be allowed uh, to, for example, let's suppose it was from Italy, an Italian who has been living in Ukraine. If he comes to Germany, he will definitely be getting a visa to stay here as well. So they will not have any trouble getting the visa. Now coming to the third category, these are the people who are not from a EU country who do not have a permanent residence visa in uh, Ukraine and who are not Ukraine citizens. These people have one month stay. These people will be given one month stay to come over to Germany so that they can make uh, make it sure that they can go back to their home country. One of the biggest group is of students and it is being said that students can come to Germany as well and as soon as they enter Germany they will get legal till the 23rd of May. So anyone who is coming till 23rd May, even he, if he or she is not Ukraine citizen and does not have permanent visa or uh, is not from an EU country, can stay in Germany till 23rd May. And uh, after that, he or she has to return or should return back to his or her home country. And uh, they should try to get back soon as soon as possible and yes it is not very beneficial for students so sh students also have another option if they can get registered in a german university they can continue their studies here so i think it is a very good opportunity especially for students because in germany we have paragraph 5 section 2 which says that you need a visa to enter germany and this thing has been cancelled only for the students who are coming from the Ukraine. And I think it is a very good opportunity. So the people who are coming from Ukraine do not need any kind of visa to enter Germany. And if any student gets the chance to enroll himself in any university, they can simply get a student visa afterwards. So the only problem here we have is the time limit given to students to find a new university and to even get enrolled in a university is only one month. And because it is somehow impossible to get admission in a German university within one month's time, I think it is um, not very suitable. Um, but yes, since the current situation is very new and we still do not have any concrete information and every new day we have new rules and regulations are being discussed and I will try to keep you guys updated because there is no final decision made yet, uh, particularly about students. There are still many discussions going on how and what can be done, especially for these, these people, these third uh, category of people who are not from Ukraine, uh, who do not have, uh, sorry, who do not have a Ukraine passport or um, who do not have a permanent residence, uh, residency or they are not from EU country, what should be done so that um, they do not have to return back to their home countries. And uh, yes, this was it for today's video. In my coming videos, I will talk more about what benefits you can apply in Germany if you are from Ukraine, what if uh, what is the first contact point for refugees, where can they get help from and how much they can get. And if you would like to have more information on such topics, please leave me a thumbs up so that I get to know about your interest. And as already mentioned, I'm very sorry that I have been extremely busy and could not give time to YouTube. And uh, for any kind of questions and suggestions, please leave me a comment down below below and uh, if you do not have any question or suggestion leave me a smiley in the comment section and maybe the flag of uh, your country so that i know where you are watching me from thank you so much for all the support and love stay happy and blessed till next time bye bye